This is incredible, and it's the most important video you're going to see all day. Now, there's a reason why this State Department spokesperson right here looks pissed off. It's because a reporter from the Associated Press is eviscerating him at this press conference. Very quickly, before we get into the fireworks that you cannot miss, I need to tell you who we're talking about here. This is Ned Price. He's the State Department spokesperson. And the person questioning him is Matt Lee, an Associated Press diplomatic writer. He's an amazing journalist, and you're going to hear that in just a second. Now, a lot of news outlets, like, for instance, the New York Times, just run with this propaganda from the State Department. U.S. exposes what it says is Russian effort to fabricate pretext for invasion. All right. Officials said Russia was planning a fake video showing an attack by Ukrainians on Russian territory or Russian speakers in eastern Ukraine. Real quick, we're going to get to the video in just one moment. But just to give you an idea, the United States has acquired intelligence about a Russian plan to fabricate a pretext for an invasion of Ukraine using a faked video that would build on recent disinformation campaigns, according to a senior administration official and others briefed on the material. Now, they even talk about like crisis actors and all kinds of stuff. It sounds like an absolute conspiracy theory. So this is when the AP reporter is going to let the State Department spokesperson, Ned Price, absolutely have it. Here we go. Buckle up. Thank you. Uh, okay, well, that's a, quite a mouthful there. Um, so you said actions such as these suggest otherwise. Suggest meaning they suggest they're not interested in talks and they're going to go ahead. With what action are you talking about? One, the actions I've just pointed to. Uh, the, fact, action? the, the fact that Russia continues to engage uh, in disinformation well, uh, campaigns. You, know, you made an allegation that they might do that. Have they actually done it? Uh, what we know, Matt, is what we what I have just said that they have engaged in this activity, well, uh, in this planning well, activity. activity. But activity? but let me let me because because obviously this is not this is not the first time we've made uh, these reports public. You'll remember that just a few well, weeks I, ago. I'm sorry, you, made, made, made what report public? If you and, let me finish, I will okay. tell you what report we made okay. public. Uh, we told you a few weeks ago that we have information indicating Russia also has already prepositioned a group of operatives to conduct a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine. So that, Matt, to your question, is an action that Russia has well, already taken. It's an action that you say that they have taken, but you have shown no evidence to, to confirm that. And I'm going to get to the next question here, which is, what is the evidence that they, I mean, this is like, Crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory getting into. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Now, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. No, you made a series of allegations. Would you, would you like us to print it out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for that, yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. What would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you, that, 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 that you can show that... that Matt, you have that, been that, that shows you, that 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 you, shows that the Russians are doing this. Ned, I've been doing this for. A I long know that time, was my point. As, you as, you as have you, know. you you have been doing this for quite a while. You know I that have. when we declassify intelligence That's information, right. and I we do so in, in a means. In we do and so. I, and, we do so with an eye to that, protecting that sources and methods. Is not going to fall. I, I remember a lot of things. So where, where where is the declassified information other than you coming out here and saying? Matt, I'm sorry you don't like the format, uh, but we have it's declassified. It's not the format; it's the content. I'm it, sorry you don't like the content. I'm sorry you. I'm sorry like you are doubting this. the information that is in the possession of the U.S. government. No, I, I, what I'm telling you is that this is information that's available to us. We are making it available to you uh, in order uh, for a couple reasons. One is to attempt to deter the Russians from going ahead with this activity. Two, in the event we're not able to do that, in the event the Russians do go ahead with this, to make it clear as day, to lay bare the fact that this has always been an attempt on the part of the Russian Federation to fabricate a pretext. Yeah, but you don't have any, any evidence to back it up other than what you're saying. It's like you're saying, we think we, we, we have information the Russians may do this. 
but you won't tell us what the information well, is. That, and then when, when, that, when you're that, asked... That, that is the idea behind when, deterrence, Matt. When, when, that is the idea behind asked, deterrence. And when it is asked, our hope that the Russians don't go forward with this. when the information is, you say, I just gave it to you. But that, that's not what... You, you seem not to not understand, you seem not to no, understand no, no, the man, idea of deterrence. Understand. We are you trying to deter the Russians from moving forward with this type of activity. That is why we're making it public today. If the Russians don't go forward with this, that is not... Uh, ipso facto, an indication that they never had plans to do so. Uh, but then it's unprovable. <laughs> I mean, my God, what is the evidence that you have that suggests that, that, that the Russians are even planning this? Matt, you, I mean, I'm not you, saying that they're not, but you just come out and say this and expect us just to, to, to believe it without you showing a shred of evidence that it's actually true. Other than when I ask, or when anyone else asks, what's the information? You said, well, I just gave it to you, which was just you making a statement. Matt, you said yourself, you've been in this business for quite a long time. You know that when we make information, uh, intelligence information public, we do so uh, in, a, in a way that protects sensitive sources and methods. You also know that we do so, we declassify information only when we're confident in that information. Wait, Ned, you if you doubt, if you doubt the, the credibility of the US government, of the British government, uh, of other governments and want to uh, you know, find uh, solace and in information that uh, the solace? Russians are putting out. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> that is for to, you to do. I'm not asking what, what the Russian government is putting out. And, and what, do you mean, what is it supposed to be? Officials are describing uh, very specific scenes, but do they actually have videos? The the fact that we are able to go into such great detail. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to spell out what is in our possession, but I will leave. Uh, I will leave it to you. Uh, I will leave that to your uh, to your judgment. Your there imagination. are no facts that you've spelled out. Coming days. Do you have evidence this was intended to come out in the coming days? We've we've said been for some time now that the Russians uh, have positioned forces. Uh, they have undertaken preparations. That if Putin decides to move forward with an invasion, uh, they're positioned to do so. They are Specific poised to do so in the coming days. One just one one last thing. We can... I'm not buying into Russian propaganda, but I'm also not going to buy into an, I'm not accusa an to... accusation. Yes, you are. You're saying the proof is that I just said it. So let me just appeal on behalf of all of us and the American people and the people of the world and the Russian people, the Ukrainians. One piece of evidence to suggest that the Russians are planning to use crisis actors to stage a false mass casualty event to use as a pretext. Just one piece, okay? And not you or Kirby or Jen or John Finer or Jake saying this is what is so. And then you turning around and saying, well, because we said it in fact. So let me one let, piece of let me one make, piece of verifiable evidence. Let, let me make let me make a, a couple broad points. And I I I acknowledge this will probably unset, be unsatisfactory to you in the moment. Uh, but uh, here's what. Suffice I to say, from know, here on out, he uh, doesn't give any know. actual details. So if you're following along, the actual person in charge of the State Department, the spokesperson, at least, Ned Price, goes out and says, hey, here's what we have. The Russian government is going to do a false flag attack with crisis actors, straight up conspiracy stuff. And you just got to believe us. Take us at our word. This is what's going to happen to start this war in Ukraine. We will give you zero evidence to back this up. We will not show you the video that we're talking about. We will not give you any actual information, but just take that and write it. And some people wrote it. The New York Times is one of them. And this reporter, and, and thankfully another reporter spoke up as well, were at least grinding in a little bit on this because it seems like this may just be propaganda from the United States government eager to have some sort of chess match with Russia that could end up in absolute hell for other countries like Ukraine. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. But for once, we're actually seeing some good journalism at work. And so uh, kudos to you, Matt Lee. Good job. Keep putting the feet to the fire like that. What do you think about this? Pretty unbelievable, huh? I mean, I've never seen anything quite like this. It did really give some, some reflection back to the WMD situation in Iraq as a precursor for war, but without a doubt, like this is just a complete and total fantasy. It's true because I'm telling you it's true. That's exactly what 
Our State Department spokesperson, Ned Price, said. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you think about this. I think it's kind of scary, actually. It looks like they're pushing us toward war here, perhaps. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button to support the page. I appreciate you all. You can also support in the post below, um, or you'll see right below this where you can uh, support the, uh, the videos. Uh, YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. I look forward to those comments, and we'll talk to you again real soon.